Governor of River State, His Excellency Sassimin Alayafubara is assured of completing the 240 meters link bridge between Aboa and Abandili in Emoha local government area. Addressing his men on Friday at Aboa during the inspection of the abandoned 240 meters bridge that links Abandili in Emoha local government area, the governor said that the project was initiated by other previous administrations and inherited by the immediate past administration which made a financial commitment to continue it, but the contractors couldn't access the funds because of bank issues. The governor, who was accompanied by the Honorable Commissioner of Works, Dr. George Kelly Alabo, during the inspection, said that Boag Bandele Road is in response of his administration to revisit the project is as a result of the passionate appeal by the people of Aboa to complete the project. We're in Aboa. It's about... From here to the other mm -hmm. side is a 240 meters, 240 meters bridge, bridge that leads to Abandere. So you know what it means if this project is completed. Abua doesn't need to pass through the Ahoda axis. They just, from here, they are in Emowa. From Emowa, they are already in the city, in the heart of the city. So we were going to complete it. You know, this is not part of our 100 days project, but a project that will have direct bearing in the life of our people. Government is about making people happy, providing the needed facility. And I feel strongly that we're not wasting our money if we revisit this project and put it into full use. He pointed out that the contending issues have been resolved with the contractors handling the project to return to site, noting that the road, when completed, will create an alternative access route from Portaket to Aboa through Emoha. The governor also inspected the progress of ongoing work on the 8.1 km Aboa Emo Eyak Egom Elok Road project in Aboa Odua local government area. Governor Fubara rounded off the project inspections at a weather in Emoha local government area where he expressed hope of completing the internal routes as part of projects and marked for his 100 days in office. Ebeda, the indigenous people of Ebeda to maybe say hi to them and also see what is going on here. More especially, this project is one of the projects that we intend to include in our 100 days in office. A few weeks ago, we went to Borokiri, that is Faga. About a week later, we went to uh, Eneka. We have also gone to Echie. You can see that in our 100 days in office, we'll try to make sure that the project that will be commissioned will spread around the 23 local government. If we can capture the 23, there should be about three to four projects in each of the senatorial districts. That is our target. But in all, we must give our people what will make them happy. Priority projects, ensuring that both the ongoing and even initiating new ones that will be very important and vital to the economic growth of our state are the things we will continue to do and we will do.